Hello, everybody. Welcome, come on in. I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. Hello. Just gathering my supplies here. Come in, come in, come in. I'm gonna grab something really quick while I wait for people to hop on. Anybody here? Well, it is a Friday and it is getting towards dinner time here, central time. So I am going to go ahead and hop in here and um, kind of, I'm kind of excited. I, it's like, it's been a crazy week of a Catherine Pooler release, and it's a Long Bon release, and it's Sunny Studio release. It's just a crazy release week. And I literally am in the middle of product. Like there's product all the way down that way, all the way down this way and on that table. And I have a big job. I gotta get all this put away before our class is tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started so that I can get that done. I am almost done programming all of the Sunny Studio stuff. I thought I wouldn't get it in until tomorrow, but I got it in. Hi, Lindy, my dearest friend. Yes, you are my dearest friend. Aw, hello, welcome. So I, um, yes, I just have a couple more things left to put in the shop online, and I am done with all of these products, and they're all in there on under, um, the August release. So, <laughs> yes, it's crazy. I wish I could show you how crazy it looks like. The whole section here is full of products and that whole table is full of products. It's crazy in here. So, but it's all in the store. Yay, I just gotta get it out there, which is sometimes the most challenging thing and sometimes takes the most time. So, with that being said, if you're coming for class tomorrow, you might end up seeing some stuff on that table over there <laughs> if I don't get done at a reasonable hour. John and I were in here till after midnight last night trying to get this lawn fawn finished. Wah! It was crazy. Anyway, so, well, without further ado, I want to introduce you to, this is not a new release for Sunny Studios. This was, this has been a couple of years, but it is new to our store and it's adorable. And I thought, how perfect is this for fall birthdays? bright but it's fall and I just love how those colors just pop this is called sweater weather and I have pulled out some um, some of this paper for a card and I'll kind of um, I will show you I guess um, you can see all of the patterns are right here on this paper it's so pretty I would pull it out but I'm gonna try to move along with the with our project for tonight and um, so these are some leaves, but they kind of are really nice to double as a solid as well. And this has a sweater pattern on it. It's really pretty. So all of the, um, all the colors that are in this pack have a sweater pattern, pattern and also have a um, leaf pattern on them as well. So there's this. So this die right here comes from this set which is the mini mat and tag one. So this is the frame from that. There's a tag and all kinds of um, optional things to use with that. This, these strips right here, which I'm gonna put in the background, are from this set, which is really super cool. It's called Ribbon and Lace Borders. 
It is this long die right here. I'll show you close up. It's this one. This is a separate die right here. So that's an edge die. So this is where you, how you get a strip with the, I don't know if you can see that the stitches in it. It's kind of cool. So I have two strips here from that. And our sentiment is going to be from the bold, Big Bold Greetings. So these are all Sunny Studio products that we're using for tonight, um, except for one ink pad and our colors. We're gonna color tonight, folks. And, oh yeah, our twine is not from Sunny Studio. <laughs> um, this set is what I have here. And this little image here. I wanna tell you something. Um, Mindy over at Sunny Studios used to send out a lot of really darling samples and um aren't those colors so gorgeous they're just jewel tones they're beautiful so uh she used to create samples and send them in the releases but um, she's a pretty busy person these last you know years so she instead has given the store owners these little sheets for us to color hi Jeannie welcome <laughs> So she's given it, she gives us the store owner's sheets so that we don't have to actually go and purchase a set. And, um, but I do have to fussy cut it, I will tell you that. So I'm gonna walk you through these dies that are incredibly special. And these images are just darling. That edge, I know the edge die, I love it. I love it too. I love all those edge dies, they're beautiful. So in this, with this die, of course this image of the bear here, you can see that. There is in this die a particular piece where you can see the hands here. It would cut, it cuts out just this little part where you can slide in your cupcake. So I wanted to let you know that that is a part of this die set, um, but I'm not using it because I'm going to give the store full use of <laughs> what I purchased. So um, that, is, so I'm gonna fussy cut this and I'm gonna cut that part out myself as best as possible yeah but we're gonna maybe i should do that first <laughs> um i am going to and now just beware here don't freak out um this part is going to get yeah it's not gonna work so i'm gonna use this i brought out two options so i'm gonna start my cutting here now this part is not you're not gonna see it because i'm gonna be using a cupcake and the cupcake is gonna go in front of this little spot here. So I am punching a hole so that I have a place for my scissors to start. That's what. I, that's the reason I'm doing that. So I am going to, I'm gonna start coloring. We're go, now I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, I didn't, did I get my brown? I, I did, silly me. I did have my brown. So I'm gonna tell you what I have done here. I have, I pulled out my paper pack and I used my swatches. So I have these swatches that I've created. They're here in the store for customers to look at, but I've downloaded these um, from their, from Alt New website, and I've labeled them for people to look and see what uh, each of the swatches look like. But I went through my swatches and I lined up my colors to go with the paper. So that was kind of a nice little, here's a, that's a nice little tip for you. Did I say die set? I said edge die set. Ah, edge die set. Ah, I see what you're saying there. So anyway, that's what I've done here. And I have pulled out the colors that I would like to use for, um, is this the one I used? Let's see, what do I have here for my brown? I have six, three. Yep, these, these are the colors. So for my bear, um, my bear. This one and this one. This, these are my bear colors. So this is from the Delectable Delights. Um, for so it even kind of, I'll, I'll show you here. Kind of even pulls in the colors of the um, the paper. So I, I that's the reason I picked these these colors. So I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is the hazelnut, which is Y423. And I'm just gonna color all around my bear, very, very lightly. And 
This is how I color. I am not the best, world's best colorer. I just, word of warning here, I'm really not. Um, there are people that do this a whole lot better than I do. So I, I'm, I start with the full color and I should probably do a better job. I'm just gonna fill, fill my colors. And I will fussy. So this is gonna be where we just have conversation and I'll look up every now and then and look to see what you're saying here. Um, <laughs> body super cute super super cute so anybody else besides me really super ready for fall I am so tired of this heat and tomorrow I think we have our first a tip you know fall type weather here well we've had some 70s in this, during the summer not very many days of 70s, but we have had 70s. So, but I think we're kind of slipping into fall, but I think our weather's gonna go back into the 80s here fairly soon. So, I don't know. Is that any perfect spelling? I can't remember if that's the correct spelling. Go, Jeannie. Yay! Oh, I always put two N's in your name, Jeannie, and I am so sorry. One N. Not that I'll remember, but I'll try to remember. <laughs> I'll be seeing you tomorrow at the class. Yay. Okay. Let's get this there. This is a little bit of work here. We got a large amount of ground to cover on the bear. So bear with me. <laughs> Speaking of bear. Oh, with two hands, but yours is perfect too. Aw, Jeannie's so sweet. She's a sweetheart. Okay. See, I'm trying not to go outside the lane. Well, you know coloring outside the lines. <laughs> I try not to color outside the lines, but sometimes the temptation is real. All right, now let's get his ears here. Cute little bear. I didn't even think about his nose. I should probably get him. I may go grab some black for his nose after the live. I'll color in his nose later. Unless I want to color it pink. Oh, I didn't bring, I didn't grab any pink either. <sighs> I should pink in the cheeks too. Silly, silly me. So that's something I'll have to do after life. I'll get his nose. I'll get his cheeks. Or her cheeks. Doesn't have to be a he. He just looks like a little he to me. Maybe because I have all grandsons. But you can make this little bear into a she. was going to use this. Or no, I think I'm going to use the darker one for sure. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to take this darkest one, which is my Y634, the milk chocolate, 
and I'm going to go around some edges here. I'm going to go around some edges, and I'm just going to come in here, especially in the dark, shadowy areas. I'm just going to come right there. Here, here, underneath the scarf. See, there I go. Under here, and I'm going to go around there. start with that middle color Y425 which is almond butter and we're going to whoops we're going to start kind of doing a little bit of blending with it we'll start the blending process lightest color and I'm going to start blending here this out in this direction and now I'm going to take my middle color and I come under here just kind of start blending it out dark edges. I'm not, I did get out, out of the lines there, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because I expect that I'll take my light color here, blend it out a little more. here take my medium color and I'll work this out. I'm in my own world and I just realized I haven't looked up for a while I'm ready for the cooler weather sorry I should zoom in a little better folks I apologize I always forget about the zoom I'm so ready for fall too oh I hate hot weather it's my least favorite Oh, coloring, you know, everybody has their way of coloring. I don't have to pay attention to what. <laughs> I'm in medium medium mode here. Um, everybody has their, their certain ways to color. I will tell you that. Um, and I'm going to pick up some more of that there. I'm going to pick up some light to kind of shadow this a little. Um, everybody has their way. Uh, of coloring I just say watch some people color try different things and see what works out for you that's what I say just try it coloring really requires a lot of practice that's that's the big thing is the coloring of practice and now I'll tell you what this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to take my light color and I'm going to start blending that down with my lighter color. Just blend, 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 blend. And blend and blend and blend. I am by no means the expert for coloring, no. Definitely not. I think it's kind of hard to get along these edges here. In my opinion. Now. 
if you want more shadow, you can go back and grab some more shadow in certain places. I think that's good. Um, and a shadow here. shadow here. Where's my medium color? There it is. Yes, lots. Of, hi, Linda. Yes, lots of practice in watching how other people color. And I really believe that that you just have to pick up what works best for you, what you like best, really, honestly. And I'm just going to go in here in between it. And I'm going to take out lighter color. I'm still going to go in and blend with it. Um, just and now I'm gonna go back with the darker color I'm gonna come around this edge a little more just just a little because I want to <laughs> now I'm gonna take my medium over here and I'm gonna bring it out I think my my ink has also dried so the blending so the wet the wetness is a really big help. So I may have to go back over with my dark edge and blend just a little. And I'm going outside the lines, I know. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Medium. and light. So I'm just going to blend it on down. And I am going to come underneath the shadows here. Some darker colors under here. I can blend that out with my medium. Blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. Some more dark up here around the hands because your hands are going to create shadows. So I'm going to put in some dark here. You're not going to see it back there, but you will. I don't know if we'll see it at all. Guys, I'm going to cut into this. So this may not even matter, but I am teaching you something about shadows and that sort of thing. This is my medium. So, there. We've got some... He looks more like a bear now. <laughs> so now, is this my dark? No, that's not my darkest color. So look how that looks with that paper. It's super cute, and I really like it a lot. Okay, now I'm going to go to the dark edge here, and I'm just, I am going to give him some dark ears, but I'm going to come back in around these, the bottom part, blend this light. pink. I want his face to be a little lighter. And there is a color lifter. So uh, I am going to use the color lifter to get my um, color off around those edges. So just blending here. And I'm going to go dark. Medium. <laughs> Mine would look like it had a disease. Oh, that's funny. 
yeah, just get some pins and start practicing. That's the big thing. It's the most important thing of all is just to play with your, but don't be afraid. You can always re-stamp. Coloring takes practice. Lots and lots of practice. Okay, this is my medium. out and right now yeah I will yeah I'm gonna do the dark up here so do dark right there take my medium blend that out and now I'm gonna take my lighter color and I'm gonna start blending it out. Now, everybody has a different way of blending. Some people flick like this. I sometimes think sometimes the circular motions are really helpful, in my opinion. It could depend on the kind of ink that you're using too, or markers that you're using. But, so now I'm gonna just kind of flick towards the middle I know that some people say decide where your light source is and all that other jazz I mean you can do that and you're definitely diving into some technical coloring when you're doing that so I think yeah I may as well just cover it all sometimes I just let it be with that lighter shadowing or lighter shade there and I might um, I am going to go with dark down here just along this edge because this does a scarf will create a shadow so here we go with our medium I color myself. And there we go. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna leave leave it as is. Now I'm gonna come on oh, when I'm just gonna color my cupcake with this darkest color here. And I was gonna make it light in the center, kind of like there's a light hitting it. So I'm gonna take this lighter one and I'm just gonna go over and pull and blend Light source. Oh heck, I've got lots of practice doing that. <laughs> so if I pretend that that's the light source area. Yeah, I. It, it is definitely, most definitely, um, a need for practice. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to make my frosting on my cupcake is going to be orange. So kind of like a chocolate orange cream frosting. So I'm gonna go all over it with orange, and I'm using Y514. This is orange cream, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I meant to go 
yeah, I'm going to go all over. And then just a little bit of dark along the lines and then blend out with it. So while I have the orange, I'm just going to start my stripes with it as well. So, and I'm going to start my first stripe here. And all the colors I have are purple, green, and yellow. So purple, green, yellow, orange. So that's Oops, I think I missed, messed it up. Boo! Well, at least that one's yellow. See, it's orange right here. I should just come back to it, right? One, two, three, here we go. Now we're cooking. See, it'll there'll be some forgiveness because I, that one's gonna be my yellow. Um, now let me get this dark, these dark lines in here. So I'm just going to go on the side of one side. Yeah, I could do both, couldn't I? That one's so skinny, I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to go back with the yellow or the orange in the center here. Lighten it up. I think I like it better. I think I like it better with just one side of it with a dark line. And I think I'm gonna follow that one. So we're gonna just do one dark line on, we're gonna pick a side and I'm gonna do a dark line. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do a dark line here and I'm gonna do a dark line here and a dark line here and a dark line here. Whoop, whoop, there it is. Okay, that's our orange frosting. And I do know that I want my yellow. Citrus. And... Yep, these are my yellows. I don't know that I'm gonna need all three of them. I think I'm gonna go with my medium and then go with um, my dark as a shadow. So because I made this orange mistake, my orange boo-boo, I'm gonna try to lighten it up with my yellow a little and see if I can perhaps maybe redeem it a little here. <laughs> and it looks like I did. Yep, yep, I did. So beside my yellow or my my orange is going to be my yellow. And then I'm gonna start my stripes over here. Um, I could also fix it with my color lifter. So there we go. Our little bear is coming along. So let's do a color of yellow over here cupcake Where's my bright? There it is. My dark yellow. And I'm just going to pick whoops, pick a a side and I'm going to go 
in with some shadow on it. Same thing with this. I'm just gonna go in on that with some shadow. my medium. I did not use the light color. So I'll put this aside. So let's blend just a little bit of blending. So it's not so harsh. This one looks like it came along just nice. All right. So these are my two that. Alright, so next I am going to go in here with some purple. Because purple and yellow look really good together. Right? So I think I'm going to do my two darkest purples. I pull out three, but I'm just going to go with dark. Which one's my darker one? Yeah, I think this is it. So I'm going to go, whoops, I need to go light first and then dark. I'm tired. Uh, this color really picks out that purple that's in this pack. So pretty. I don't know if we'll be able to see a shadow very well, but we'll give it a whirl. This might be my... I don't know. Yeah, that is my darker shadow. Woohoo! Okay. So that is dark. So now we're going to go light. And I will list all the colors that I have used in the description. If you're on YouTube, it's below. If you're on Facebook, it'll be above. going to go back with our shadow. There it is. And now the last color, I'm going to save these two because um, it, one of these colors, I think I'll I pulled out green and I also pulled out blue and I forgot about the blue, but that's okay. So the blue will save for the cupcake and we'll do the green. Yes, because my background is more of that blue color and I can't forget this too. <laughs> so my medium, medium and dark. So I'll the lighter color. So go with medium. And let's go like this. I'm trying to keep it straight for the product listing. All right. And now we'll just create the shadow. There. That's cute. All right. Now let's go over here with our cupcake. And I hope so. I may be wrong. I used the wrong one. You can always go back in. Okay. 
Now we're going to start with our dark blue and our medium blue. So I'm going to go medium blue. I'm definitely going to blend that back out. Okay, and now we're going to go back to yellow. And I think for the scarf, I didn't use those two. <laughs> Didn't use that. Okay. Back to yellow. Aw, that's looking really good, Donna. Thank you. That's yeah, super sweet. Thank you. I love these fall colors. They just make me so happy. Okay, that is definitely my darker color. And we are almost ready to cut this out. Blend that to the contrast isn't quite so harsh. There we go. And then save that. What's my next? Oh, my purple. Yes. <laughs> um, I could look at my chart to see which purple was my darker purple. So if you ever get lost, well, making these charts is really, really helpful. It's really helpful. So I have hydrangea, which is my medium. Yep. And ultraviolet is my dark. So that's how I know. Um, medium. darken I'm gonna darken my oops I need my just to let you know this little gray line does tell you that it's your fine point but I always forget to look okay all right now back to finishing this scarf and I'm gonna start with purple on this side so we're gonna go with hydrangea was my medium See, I just open it. I don't even pay attention to what I'm doing. So, hydrangea. And I'm going to pick underneath here is my dark spot. And then I'm going to go green. Now it's orange. Where's my orange? <laughs> Let's see, we went with these two. So orange, was it orange cream? No, that's only that. I need orange cream. There it is, orange cream. my bare colors. My shadow, just a little stripey, a little bit of blend, which is fun. And now we're going to go to what? Purple again? Is that right? Yes.
chirp ball. Now y'all are going to have to forgive me on the pink. I can go run and get it, the black and the pink, if you have the patience for it. <laughs> I'm going to start with my yellow right there, and I'm just going to stay with my darker yellow, maybe. You know, I'm just going to stay with my lighter yellow. There's not really much to space there to really highlight. I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go orange, maybe, yeah. I'm gonna kinda do some opposite stuff here. I'm gonna go with my darker orange. I'm gonna fill in a little bit, lighten it up a little with my maybe go opposite direction. I just didn't, I'm now I'm going to start purple. Okay. There's my hydrangea. I know I'm not following the same stripe rules, but I just didn't want them to run next to each other. And that's essentially why I did it this way. Okay, now I'm going to go green. next to each other, but it's fine. And now we'll end with orange. Woohoo! <laughs> we made it! Okay. Oh, my goodness. Here's our little Here's our bear. Yay! So now I'm going to cut these little images out. And I'm going to try something new. I got these new little snipper snippets from Tim Holt. These are Tim Holtz trimmers. And if I don't feel comfortable, because I'm used to my... Um, sometimes it's hard to use new scissors. But if I'm not comfortable, I'm going to switch over to my cutter bees. So just forgive me if I do. It's not that these don't work, it's that I'm used to something completely different. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thanks, Lindy. Thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> it is, I think these colors are gonna look really super cute with this too. I think it's really gonna pull together really nicely. All right, which is why I use my cheat sheet. Now, if you weren't here, I'm gonna explain to you why I'm fussy cutting and not using the dies. I only ordered a specific number of these with it being a, um, a week of releases for a bunch of different companies. Um, I had to budget. <laughs> so um, that made it hard to decide, you know, if I was going to purchase a set for you know, the store, sometimes I do classes. I may end up getting some sets anyway in the near future, but for now, this is what I've opted to do, is use the coloring sheets that Sunny Studio sends. So they send a sheet for store owners to, that are already pre-printed, pre 
So I do not have this set. I'm just gonna pull this out, just to make it easier on myself. I'm fussing with it while it's still here. There. There we go. I need to come closer. I do see I'm just used to my cutter beads. So I'm pulling out the cutter beads. <laughs> It's funny how we get into a set feel. It definitely is what we call muscle memory. Most definitely. I think I got those because I wanted to be able to cut my foam's adhesive with it. Without gumming up my scissors. That was my big reasoning for it. Some other people really like them because they are, they do have those bigger handles and they aren't so hard to cut with on their hands if they've got some issues with their arthritis or whatever. Some people do like those. I, however, am a real big Cutter Bee fan. Because this is what I've I'm, I've been used to for so long. So, I am going to do my best to cut, fussy cut this. And here we go. Okay. Now, this is the special part. <laughs> this is where I'm going to cut out down here. This is why I have this little hole here so that I can come in here and I can actually fussy cut a spot for our little bear to hold that cupcake. So I'm doing it by hand, but this set has a set of dies that do this for you so that you don't have to do this. And I'm just, I'm going to be really fussy right now. <laughs> and how I get in here and do this because I want it to look a certain way. Now these dies will make it look nice and neat and I on the other hand am not making it look so nice and neat and well as neat. I'm doing the best I can. Now, see this, it's gonna have to go up further. I need to figure out where his hands, so I need to make his, he's gotta come up all the way through here. So he's gotta get around, his little hands have to get around that. So once I get this to the point where it's a little more flexible, this off because it's in my way for sure. I don't, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm going to pull out here in just a sec. There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm cutting around. So I cut that hole in the center so that I could cut around his little hands. And you, this is actually good, something good to know for anything else that, any other sets that you might have that you want to do something like this with that maybe it doesn't come with a set of dies like this does. There are special dies that create the ability to do this. So his little hands are going to wrap around. You're not, hopefully not going to see the hole. <laughs> I don't anticipate that you will. So, let's see where we're at. So here's this. Here's my little cupcake, like that. 
So I'm gonna stop there. I think I have enough there. Now we'll see how much I need over here. So as you can see, I don't need to worry so much about that showing. I have this cut to there. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna clean this up a little because it's not very clean. There, that looks better. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get a cleaner curve here around that. So there we go. Now hopefully I've redeemed myself that I've moved this out enough that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna create my slit for little bare hands right along here. And hopefully that's enough. So just like so and just like so. I think I have it. I think it is cut enough super cute you guys so cute <laughs> his little cupcake matches his scarf <laughs> oh my goodness how silly how very silly yep I had to fuss a little but it just takes patience and sometimes once patience once we have uh, achieved what we want, the patience pays off. Yay. All right. I do like that. That's super cute. Super, super cute. Okay. That is the bulk of the work. And now we're ready to put our little bear. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really very happy with my... Um, fussy cutting. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. So I'm going to pop him up just like so. And where's my, there we go. So we're going to put foam tape in the back of Mr. or Little Miss. Oh, thank you. Make sure I've got that in the spot that I want it. Unless I really want, I may want to just pop that up a little. Let's see. Meh, meh. We're good. So I'm going to bring this down. Like that. And this. No, we don't want that crooked. Keep that still. I'm not going to give it like a big pop. I think I'm going to bring my sentiment just a little bit higher below there. My go oh, my my thoughts were to um, I'm not finishing my sentence. My thought was to uh, bring the sentiment below where the cupcake is. That's where my thought was. And so before I put this down, I am going to get my sentiment ready to go. So I can kind of gauge where everything needs to be, if that makes any sense at all. Cut this in half for those ears. All right. I was feeling a little sleepy this afternoon. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was like hard to stay focused. So yeah, he's he. I was gonna pop him to about right here and put the sentiment down here. So let me get the sentiment 
worked out here. I used. All right. This side. Let's see what we have here. So I'm going to. So I do have this new Waffle Flower Media Mat in here. I didn't use the th um, the, the one that fills up the whole space. I used the one that is five and a half instead of six and a half by eight by seven and a half. Is it seven and a half? Eight and a half. Eight and a half by seven and a half, I believe, is it? Or six and a half. This, yeah, six and a half, eight and a half, six and a half by eight and a half, but I use the five and a half one. Anyway, so this is the Waffle Flower Grip Mat. I don't know what I called it. Who knows what I said. Anyway, so I have this stamp set. I have Make a Wish pulled out. So I just thought that was cute. Um, we could even, you know, Somehow I could find a candle to put on there. That would be really cute. Super cute. I'm just going to ink the sentiment up. I'm going to use my VersaFine Flare and get this inked up. And this needs some, needs some ink. It's been, a, it's been through a few classes. It's time to ink that up. Oh shoot, thought it started at six. Well, glad I get to see the finished product. Hi, Candy, welcome. Hope I've said hello to everybody that's here. Okay, now that there is a die. And I am going to, to deal with black ink on my mat. <laughs> so there it is. And I'm going to pull this die out that says make a wish. And I'm going to run it through. I have my little mini right here with me today, which is kind of nice. I have it right here on my desk or table. Piece of paper. And I happen to have some right here too. Yay. Saved by the bell. See you tomorrow too, Miss Candy. You and Jeannie both will be here. Oh, I need to. There we go. Yay! It's gonna be like Earth Shake for just a little bit. <clears throat> A sentiment. And this A comes out separate. So that's kind of cute. So make a wish. I like how that cuts that all out just like so. I am going to pop it up. Oh, I should get some foam to pop that up with. I think I do want it all on. It would be a whole lot easier to get. Although that back part would be kind of hard. Nah, I'm too lazy to get up and get it. <laughs> you guys, I'm tired. So we'll just we'll just pop it up the same level. How's that? We'll just pop up some foam, make it all on the same. Sure. Make a wish. Oh, so cute. So just the bottom part of make. And we'll put that part with top part will have some little glue. I'm just gonna sporadically stick pieces of 
disc here and there. pieces. It really is easier, folks, if you cut this out with some foam. And then you can line it up behind here. Let's stick that there. Stick this here. And we'll get some across. Oh, see, this ink <laughs> wasn't dry. It stays, it does stay wet for a while, folks. Let me have to bring this up a little more so that our sentiment fits. That's okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to pop him on here now that I kind of have an eye for where everything needs to go. It does need to come up just a little more so that our sentiment will fit there. Hey, there you are. I have a mess here. Oops. Let's, let's get him on there. up space over there but that's all right now let's get this ready to go get all these pieces off of here we'll put some glue on here the top looks like I should get some foam right there though that little spot. I got a couple spots. What's the dealio? Hip. Okay. I have some foam showing. So I'm going to scooch it back. There. So maybe bring it to where it just comes right down here below and it. covers the cupcake a little, but that's okay. We're good. I need to get that piece out. Fish it or stick it underneath and make it stay. <laughs> and now let's get our A on there. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Might be a little too big. it around the edges. I think that's good. Yeah. Make a wish. That's cute. I 
thinking my cupcake should come up a little higher. I don't know if I can pull that out and bring it up after I've done what I've done behind here. I just don't know. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let that frosting kind of pop just like that. Make a wish. So if I were to do this differently, I probably would pull that cupcake up just a little bit more up above there. But that's okay. I think your brain can fill in what it needs to fill in. All right. So now here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take these stripes in the center, wherever I can find the center. Thank you, Candy. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to leave some space in between though. So I'm going to kind of do this. about middle I should have brought I did bring my ruler to be two and a half is my mid, two and a half and one line up is one sixteenth up. That's my middle part right there. So I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna bring it right up below there. We're gonna leave some space there in the middle for my, I brought out some twine so that we could use it. Is that the side I put the glue on? It is. So bring that up just a smidge. So I found my halfway point. I'll put this piece here just a smidge and above that, hopefully. Pieces are going to be evenly apart. Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, I have the same thing. <laughs> same measurement as I had before. Let's see what we got here. I need to bring it up just a smidge. Oh well. So I'll fill it with twine. I didn't want to have that much twine. So there's my, that's where my edge needs to be. You believe good enough right so I just wanted these stripes and some um, twine in the background behind our piece here I just thought that would be fun just to give it some something different just combining patterns and things like that so are we Mostly even. Yeah, we are. Yay. So I'm going to trim this off. And now we're going to take our twine and fill up that middle space. So tell me in the chat if you know the story about this twine. <laughs> This twine has a story and I have tons of it that's cut off into pieces and I've slowly used it over the years. I'm going to go one more spot to kind of fill it up. So what I'm doing is I'm filling in the gap between the two. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to get my double sided tape. No. Boo. So we'll just use our glue. Anybody know the story about this twine? It involves Mr. Mac. It's actually. 
actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> We were cutting for a, a kit, actually. We... <laughs> it's not that great, but I mean, it's it's funny. It's a funny one. It was late at night. We were cutting for kits, and I told him how much I needed. And he, to this day, he swears I told him the wrong amount. <laughs> He swears I told him the wrong amount, but he, um, we were cutting twine and I have, I have like a wad of it this big because of the excess twine that he cut. <laughs> he just cut, he just cut like five times the amount of twine that I told him I needed. <laughs> he got the numbers wrong in his head. So I am still working with this twine folks. I'm Still working with it to get rid of it. Okay, and here it is. So fun, so cute. I love it. Okay, so I am going to pop this. I'm gonna put some um, some more tape right here, foam tape here. So we're gonna we're gonna need some. Poor John, he, we give him a hard time. So right there. So now we don't need any, we don't need any foam tape below. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Poor John. Oh, but he's, he claims that I told him wrong. And I may have told him wrong. I'm not. You know, I'm not too proud that I can't admit I have given him wrong numbers a time or two. I have, and we've had to start over. Sometimes we get tired. That's not gonna show, is it? No. Yay. All right, we did it. Now we'll just get this centered. I do want to put some bling on it. I pulled out some special bling because I thought, oh, that'd be cute on there. Now just remember, if you are here, just not getting here, I was not able to finish. I'm, I'm still not finished with this. I got to fill in his nose, and I promise I will do that. After the live, I just didn't pull out colors for the nose and the, the pink cheeks and all that stuff. So, um, just a smidge up. So, I'm eyeballing it here, doing the best I can. Looks good to me. <laughs> and let's see if I pulled out these Park Avenue. Catherine Pooler Park Avenue sequins. I just thought, oh, those are so cute. Let's pop some of these on here. See, if, let's just see what we got going on here. Maybe one on the on this cupcake right here at the top. That would be cute. Let's do. Let's do that. That one. That's super cute. Um, tuck in one here. Yeah, let's tuck in one there. And then 
do a couple up here. Yellow and how's that look? Yeah. Let's bring the yellow about right here. I'll bring this one here. Then I, then I need one up there, don't I? So we can do another one of these. Where is my? Let's do this one right there. Sometimes it's hard with sequins, and maybe just a sequin on the top of the cupcake. But I do like that one there. What do you guys think? No more sequins? Tell me what you think. Ooh, that's cute. What do you think about that sequin placement? I don't know. Be honest. No sequins, just the cupcake topper. No more sequins. Or yes, sequins. Tell me what you think. I kind of that's not too bad. It was looking kind of weird before, but I I kind of like this. Sometimes there's a lag and I don't get any feedback till later. You like just the cupcake topper. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ooh, I could, I could. They could fill in that with that smaller piece too. There's a lot going on, just on top. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, I just saw your comment. You already commented, Lindy. All right. It's good to know those things. Let's just do... <laughs> now I'm stuck and I can't get it. Just to let you know, guys, these sequins match. The colors match perfectly. There we go. Now it's coming off. But that looks super cute. Um, layered inside of there. So we'll take these out. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to just put the... I'm just going to put it on top of the, the cupcake. Because I think... I. 
Um, Lindy is right. There's a lot of color and a lot of stuff going on in this card. So just the topper to that cupcake is just fine. And I now that I've got that topper on there, you can definitely see that it's a, a cupcake. That kind of helps. Um, kind of helps it. Okay. Let's get this on a card base. And voila, we are done. Is that Almost put it on the wrong side. That's super fun, super cute little set. I'll, you'll see in the picture that, oh, actually, I was gonna pop this up since this is gonna, so let's get some more, let's get some more tape on there. Let's pop it up, give it some more life. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm like making sure that it gets stuck down inside there. Oh yeah, it's it's not moving. That's very sweet, you guys. Um, this is a little trick that I do with double-sided foam adhesive because sometimes you don't get much wiggle room with it. I put a little bit of glue down so that I can move and I'm gonna put some glue here too, just on the safe side, just to hold that down, just because I need, because I'm not very good at centering when I first put things down. person that needs the wiggle room. Yay. I did it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Yay. Thanks. All right. Thanks for joining me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week. <laughs> it, the trick is to not, you know, is to put more glue on it so it doesn't dry out, dry out so quickly. <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, you guys, and I'll see some of you tomorrow. Take care.